trampoline. You jumped on one as a kid in the backyard, but did you ever think it could take you all the way to the Olympics? Welcome to Off Duty, I'm Wendy Bounds. We're here in the Elite Trampoline Academy in Middletown, New Jersey, where 22-year-old Steven Gluckstein is preparing for his first Olympics. We're gonna talk to him in just a second. Oh, here he is. Hi, how are you? Steven, nicely done. Thank you. Let me guess, you had a trampoline in your backyard as a kid. I did, ever since I could walk, I uh, had a trampoline sitting there in my backyard. So people who think that for trampoline is only for kids, right, they may not even have an idea that it's an Olympic sport. Do you get a lot of that like, wait, this is an Olympic sport? Absolutely. You know, uh, every time I tell people I do trampoline, they say, oh, my son or daughter's got one in the backyard. Uh, she can do a flip. Can you? Right. I'm like, yeah, I, I can do a few of those. <laughs> but what you have to do in the Olympics is much faster than sort of bouncing around. I mean, what are just sort of the three main categories they judge you in? It's uh, very strict. Um, we jump on a much different trampoline than they do in the backyard. We jump about 30 feet in the air. We get judged on difficulty, which is added up uh, how many flips and twists you do. Right we get judged on time of flight. And then the third part of the uh, total score is the execution, which you have judges sitting on the panel displaying out of 10 how well you did. So is it hard for trampoline to get the same respect and the funding as other parts of gymnastics? Absolutely, but uh, a lot of it has to do with uh, recognition. You know, a lot of people don't know about trampoline. Uh, a lot of people think about backyard trampolines and they don't really know about how awesome our sport is. And once we get a bigger audience and a bigger pool, we'll be able to um, be on a bigger scale like the women's gymnastics. All right, Steven, now before we get on here and you teach us some moves, what's different about an Olympic trampoline than the ones in our backyard? Uh, well, first thing first, the size. It's a uh, rectangle and it's seven feet by 14 feet long. Um, also, the springs here, they're uh, a lot tighter and they're also uh, larger. They're about eight inches long. And also the webbing is a lot different and made of different material. And so what does that mean? That Does it make it go, let's go higher, faster? Both. You Both. know, it's sprung a lot tighter. This way, the harder you push it down, it'll spring you back up faster. All right, let's get started. All right. So show us the proper way and then tell us what people typically do wrong. All right, so first I'm going to demonstrate. Yep. Proper seat drop, push to stand back up. And you're pushing with your hands as pushing well. Pushing with my hands as well. All yep. right. Okay. I make it look easy, it's not easy. Yeah, you do. All right, next skill that I'm going to teach you is called a tuck jump. The trick is to leave your shoulders and your chest up and use all the work in your knees. Bring your knees up and land right back on your feet. All right. How do you stop? Half turn, here we go. Common mistakes are leaning over for the twist. Okay, you have to pretend like you have a pin going from your head to your feet. We're gonna swing our arms to the ceiling and turn around facing the other way. There you go, easy. Next trick we're doing is called a straddle jump. All right, I'm gonna demonstrate it. Whoa. Dude. Okay. <laughs> I just wanna say I reserve the right to edit this out of the show. You got that? <laughs> Oh, that's good. Yeah, you're just saying that. No way. So we're going to make up a little routine for you, putting <laughs> all these things together, OK? Right. So we're going to go first with the straddle jump, followed by the seat drop, the tuck jump, the half turn, and stick the landing. And then you can do your victory dance. Easy. First, we're going to start the straddle, seat drop, stand up, tuck jump, half turn, and stick the landing. <laughs> Oh, so close! <laughs> Tatiana, you've been Steven's trainer 12 years now? Yes. So there's only one man and one woman from the U.S. that goes to the Olympics in trampolining. Yes. So it's a big honor for Steven. I think so. <laughs> what does he have that other people don't have? He's very regimented, so he works hard and it's just every day is planned, every training is planned, and he stays on top of it. Our sport is growing, and um, as a result, our team is growing. We had 75 members last year, but right now we're actually making over 100 at the end of the season. So it's growing and growing. And at the end of the day, only one man and one woman go to the Olympics. Yes. Incredible. Now your younger brother, Jeffrey, he also practices trampoline. Yep. Came down to the wire with the two of you on who was going to go to the Olympics, right? Yep. It was uh, all came down to the final routine, and whoever won was going to the Olympics. And, uh, I came out on ahead. Now some people have described your brother as the more natural athlete in this capacity, but they said that your work ethic is what got you here. Do you think that's true? Absolutely, 100%. Um, you know, he is 
naturally one of the best in the world. Unfortunately, he's also one of the laziest. <laughs> so, um, you know, whereas I do have God-given talent, but I, um, I flourish on my work ethic. And so the next time somebody tells you trampoline is not an Olympic sport, you tell them to try this. Mm -hmm.